nuclear weapons have been secretly launched from Antarctica and detonated in our atmosphere by scientists intent on controlling the Earth's weather so they can tap into its untold natural resources. In early August 1963, a nuclear weapons launch was detected at the South Pole, but there was no fallout, meaning the explosion must have occurred in space. The blast was initially denied by the American government and military sources, only to be confirmed at a later date. The documentary, which can be seen underneath this video, entitled The Real Secrets Hidden in Antarctica Revealed, claims the blast could have created a fake aurora, manipulating heat around the poles. This would make the ice melt, through global warming, so the vast underground resources of the Antarctic ice cap could be accessed. Antarctica is currently occupied by teams of scientists from different nations who, under the Antarctic Treaty, must share all scientific discoveries with other nations. The film hypothesis is that nuclear explosions in space designed to melt Antarctic could unlock untold riches for nations operating these scientific bases on the frozen landscape. Scientists point to Lake Vostok as the prime example of Antarctica's potential. The 160-mile-long and 20-mile-wide lake is 2,600 feet deep and contains life forms and bacteria that remained untouched for thousands of years, but it also unearthed that Antarctica used to be topical paradise. This means resources such as coal and oil could be buried deep in the ice cap, providing an incentive for superpowers to want the landmass thawed. The narrator of the documentary, produced by Illuminati Illuminati, said, Weather is made and controlled at the South Pole. Scientists have discussed how weather is made and controlled there. Scientists such as Harry Wexler, who wrote on the possibility of climate control in 1962, visited Antarctica and were known to be looking into ways to manipulate the weather. Setting off nuclear bombs in space can also cover the Earth in a radioactive sheen that can be used to block radio waves and other forms of communication either from outer space or from an enemy country during a time of war. The film finishes with a comment from the narrator saying, support for international scientific research trumps everything else and it provides the ultimate cover for providing an off-limits continent one and a half times the size of the US where black ops work can take place. Remember when astronaut Buzz Aldrin sent a tweet claiming that humanity was in danger, and that a mysterious it was evil itself. Why did Buzz Aldrin warn that we are all in danger? Why did he call it evil itself?